I've titled my short reflection, I'm the true vine and you are the branches. I'm the true vine and you are the branches. You know, different countries around the world have different animals or plants as their national symbols. You know, the United States has the bald eagle, which is a symbol of strength, it's of courage and immortality and also freedom. India has the peacock, uh, peacock as its national symbol, and it's a symbol of grace and beauty. Haiti has the hibiscus plant flower. It's, it's the national flower of the country, which is a symbol of culture and also beauty. And I've just been in Bangladesh at the beginning of this year, and they have the water lily, the water lily as their national flower. And it's a symbol of birth, of resurrection, of purity and majesty. You know, the national plant of Israel, ancient Israel was the vine. The vine was the national plant of, uh, of, uh, of Israel. And this was a symbol of life, energy and fruitfulness and abundance and wealth. The prophet Isaiah and all the other major prophets like Jeremiah and the prophet Ezekiel and the prophet Isaiah and even the, psalm, the psalmist reference divine in relation to Israel and also God. This vine was on the coins and it was also engraved in the walls of the temple as well. So this is how they took the vine uh, in relation to, to who they were. So it was a part of the Jewish imagery. It wasn't something that Jesus just picked uh, randomly. He knew how to pick the right images to express the message that he desired to put across. So today we hear the Lord speak about himself as the true vine and us as the branches. And he tells us that if you abide in me and I in you, you will have life, you'll have energy, you will be fruitful, you'll have abundance in your life. And if you cut yourself from me, you will grow weak, you will wither, you won't bear any fruit, you won't have any life in you, and eventually you will end up dying. Stay in me if you desire really to stay alive and also bear all the fruits that are really meant for you. So every time we settle down to pray at home or at the church, we are acknowledging that God is the true vine and we are the branches. And without him, we cannot have life or bear any fruit. Every time that we commit ourselves to prayer, we're keeping ourselves connected to the true vine, and we're also reminding ourselves that without God, we are nothing. So it's the source of life for us. You know, the core mission of this organization of Holy Cross Family Ministries that Venerable Patrick Payton founded is simply to remind families that if they do not keep themselves connected to God, they will wither they won't have life. They won't be fruitful. That's the core mission of this organization that we have here. So if any family desires life and strength and fruitfulness and abundance, the family needs to commit itself to a life of regular family prayer. When faith in God becomes the center of the life of this particular family, it is going to change the way how that family functions. Because we know God is love, God is forgiveness, God is generosity, God is kindness, God is patience. And when we get generally connected to him, these are the fruits that we are going to end up bearing. That's the core mission of this organization. Just remind them, be connected. Please, please, please as a family, remain connected to God. Otherwise, if you cut yourselves off, Life won't be easy. We are dealing with a culture that has thrown God out of the, out of the family. Basically, they've cut themselves off. And then we are having all the challenges that we have. And we are struggling to bear the fruit that we are meant to be bearing as, uh, as uh, human beings uh, that God put here for a purpose. 
So today as we continue with Amas, let us ask the Lord to keep us connected to him. May we ask him to renew our faith and strengthen our prayer life as individuals and even as families. And may we ask him to constantly remind, to keep reminding us that without him, we are nothing. 